Hi, I'm Marcus Greatwood. I'm a breath hold photographer and a freedive instructor. I also train in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is a ground based grappling martial art. I quite often teach our free diving, relaxation and breathing techniques to Jiu Jitsu players, but I wondered what would happen if I took a high level Jiu Jitsu player free diving in the Red Sea. This is BJJ versus the Ocean. This is Enrique Junior, better known as Junior three times European Black Belt Champion, currently ranked number 15 in the world. Full-time instructor at Roger Gracie's Academy in London. And how do you think he'll do freediving? I think he'll do terrible first, because I do not see him as a good swimmer. Because I do not see him as a good swimmer. day when we went to do the check dive I was all like I can't do this I can't do that and then I couldn't swim and but when I saw the size of the waves how beautiful was that and people diving there diving this passing under all the time I was like oh, it's beautiful that's on the first day even I couldn't dive but it was beautiful right looking at going out on the reef rope. Equalization is quite a big thing. See, Junior's never really equalized before, so it's a bit of a challenge. Uh, on the afternoon diving, I actually did a training. It was like diving, going down the roof. I, don't, I have no idea how deep was that. The first one, I was like very scared to do it. I was nervous. So I went down. Uh, I didn't manage to do the, the equalizing. Then I come back. Uh, the second was better. I, I relaxed. And the last one was the, the one I did best. So I managed to relax, breathe properly. Uh, I went down, equalize. And come back fine. So I sunk chip. There you go, sir. Just that. There's that on the back. Red Sea. Moise is open like. Tell us about your shark incident. Uh, shit on my pants. I saw a shark there! I saw a shark there! I'm not joking. I, I, I just, I didn't run because I couldn't move. Shark! <laughs> you survived. Oh uh, yeah. But I was scared. <laughs> and what else did you see? The wreck and big fish. Mm -hmm. Massive, angry face like... <laughs> Moody. I was I wake up ten to, to five.
do you think you're doing? Waiting. No. Yeah, waiting. Just waiting. <laughs> and waiting. Okay. Fighting <laughs> flow. But I can say the favorite moment when the first time I touched the ball on after a few times keep going down the roof. Then I say, okay, next one you can open your eyes because I was diving with eyes closed. And so that was was very good. And I celebrate, yeah, I got told off. Yeah. Um, yeah, but was very was I think it was like very good. Every day was different, but um, if you're talking about place, it was Valhalla. If it was about the the learning, it was every day. Like every day was something I was learning.
how has uh, how has free diving affected your jiu jitsu? One thing happening was like my movements as as I was training, my movements was clinical, uh, like very precise. So that's for me. That's mean my brain was clean. The, the holidays are like was was a meditation, and that, that moment is just you swimming around there no you don't think in anything else a part of that moment it was like a meditation so when i came back my brain was sharp the thing of uh, the control of the breath that improves well because before i always knew how to breathe but you go under the water you know the limit where you can go with your one breath and then you have to be relaxed enough to come back and no panic so you don't have option. You don't have option to stop. You have to come back. So then, when I'm ro I was rolling, I, I I transferred that to the to the roll. I was getting tired, controlling the breathing, and I could adjust myself. And then send. I was recovered inside of the fight still. That was a was a, a good thing. Any last words? Anything you want to say? You should try. Do you fancy doing it yourself next year? Yeah, absolutely. I love diving. It's one of my uh, favorite things to do. I'll be there for sure.